In today's Battlefield Top Plays episode, we have a selection of clips taking us back to Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. I'm really sorry to those players that have sent in loads of BF3 and BF4 clips and I haven't featured them for nearly three, four weeks, I believe. That's just because Battlefield 5 has come out. This is the episode, though, that's going to be looking at purely BF3 and BF4 clips. And of course, as you can tell from some of the clips that are playing in the background, the quality is incredibly high. Thank you to Axabil and Dominator666 for the first few clips. Now moving on, we've got a clip sent in from Hexer. And this guy, as you know, is a really, really good Battlefield 4 player. I just enjoy watching him because of the accuracy. It's so satisfying to see somebody play with consistent accuracy. It's not just one of those where he gets lucky and gets some kills. Usually the streaks are fairly long. The hit reg is so satisfying to see. The fact that he's actually getting the headshots as well is great. Playing on TDM at the minute on Paracel Storm, he's using this Ace-23, one of the most popular weapons in Battlefield 4, and he's just demolishing the enemy team. Getting called a cheater in the chat just shows how much damage he was doing. Next up, it's Dexter, and he's going to be playing on Battlefield 3, Epicenter, looking for a nice streak with the M16A3. I love this guy's kill streaks; they always seem to be mega aggressive and loads of kills in one big point stack. Battlefield 3 is a little more relaxed when it comes to point streaks. The streak tends to just hang around that little bit longer so you can keep it going, while in Battlefield 4 it does drop off fairly quickly. Battlefield 1, you tend to get away with stuff because you're usually on an objective pulling off these streaks, and well, Battlefield 5, I'm not really too sure. This streak, though, is already going past 1,100 points as he's just seeking out new enemies to keep it going. The range on this M16A3 is also spectacular as he manages to see through the blinding sun that you get on this section of Epicenter to push through and just rip through the enemy team. Almost like a Battlefield Rambo episode, this one. The kills this guy gets is just insane. The enemies aren't even shooting at him that much because they know they don't stand a chance. He's so quick, flying up the road here, taking down loads of enemies in the process. 17 kills, making it look easy. He also sent in a clip on Operation Metro. This one looks like it's with the AN-94, a weapon that in Battlefield 3 was incredibly broken for the longest time. Now, this weapon can be tap-fired, which means that if you get yourself into the process of tap-firing it properly, you can be a monster. You can absolutely destroy the enemies. And if they're all lining up and running around like headless chickens as they are in this clip, you can take them down without too much trouble at all, racking up some serious points and a load of kills. Eros is next up, playing on Operation Outbreak with the Ace-23. He's looking across to enemies that are camping towards the Bravo objective. It's a bit of a weird one, this. I haven't played Rush too much on Operation Outbreak, or I certainly haven't played it recently, but when the map first came out, I played it a little bit. It seemed to be one of those maps that either played really, really well or just was quite static, bunched up, and there were just loads of grenades and rockets and mines and all sorts of crazy stuff happening. This seems to be working pretty well, though, as his team pushes up as a unit, rips through the enemies, and he's doing his part with this Ace-23. A nice clip so far. The objective, of course, has been armed, and he's looking to complement that with quite a few kills. And as you can see towards the end of this clip, that's exactly what he gets.
Next up, a few sniping clips sent in from Uji. He's going to be playing on Hammerhead with the CS5 to start things off. In total, I believe he pulls off 10 kills with this streak. Really impressive stuff as he just rips through the back of the enemy team. They're not even turning around to look. I wish I had enemies like this when I played Battlefield 4, but nonetheless, he is making sure he hits the shots because more often than not, you'll see people in positions like this and they just bottle it and they don't manage to get the kills. He doesn't though. He takes his time with a few of the shots, making sure that he keeps the streak going as well as he gets onto the objective. A couple of guys above him, nice little body shots. will take those out. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out and he gets taken down. Again, another streak with the CS5, this time on Metro. He's going to be pushing through camping enemies once again, making use of his shorty 12G. And then look how many enemies are camping there, all positioned at the end of this corridor. He runs through and just pretty much demolishes all of them. For some reason, he doesn't quite get the connection he needs and the clip ends. I have a feeling he may have died. Finishing off his last clip, he's playing as you can tell on propaganda with the M98B pulling off a very, very tidy 11 man sniping streak. It would be unfair to include a Battlefield 3 and 4 top plays without featuring Scream. This guy's playing on Damavan Peak with the M416, doing what he does best, destroying the enemy team. Next up, we're going back to Nosha Canals with Captain Payne playing with the L96 sniper rifle located up at the top here on the railway track, peeking down towards enemies that, well, some of them are not really doing a good job, just standing around wondering where the shots are coming from. That being said, Captain Payne pulls off a lot of kills. He doesn't mess around, he spots enemies, he spots an opportunity to get himself a nice kill streak and he does exactly that. Great accuracy, a lot of enemies taken down in this one before he eventually has to take cover. I'm going to leave you today with a selection of only in Battlefield moments from Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. Thanks to everyone who have sent the clips in. These are really awesome clips. I do enjoy watching them, and I tend to watch every clip that gets sent in at least three or four times before deciding whether to put it in an episode. So thanks for providing me with the clips. It's just fun from that point of view. Again, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like down below, and I'll catch you in the next video.